Hello everyone, I'm Model Deer Farmer, and today we are going to be reviewing the 2015 John Deere Farm Show toy. Now the reason I kind of wanted to make a video kind of showcasing this model is because I ended up getting all three versions of the ones that were produced that year. So, we are going to take a look at it. Um, they, in 2015, they produced three different versions of this Farm Show toy. We have the regular green, classic green one. We got the dusty version, as well as the gold version. So, did pick all of these up, and I'm pretty sure if you really want these, any any one of the three of these, you can pick them up. I know, especially Dalton's Farm Toys Online has them. Um, they're running the dusty at about $22.00. Regular at about $30, and the gold run about $135. So, that's kind of your price range on these, depending on which one you want. Um, but yeah, that is one place I know for sure you can go ahead and get these tractors at. Um, but let's kind of get off, um, start off here with looking at the box, the packaging it's going to come in. Now, you will get the brown outside box if you if you were buying a sealed one which i bought mine at the 2015 farm show so it all of these did come in sealed boxes and picked up exactly three of them and got one of each so it was pretty lucky there but here's the box 2015 farm show toy 17th in a series limited edition of 5000 this is the 7290r model um, 164 scale die cast metal special 2015 farm show imprint on the top adult collectible so you got a picture on the side there kind of like a cgi one of the tractor um, on the back you got one of these seven r's pulling a planter the other side you got a picture of kind of the front hood and cab and of course on the front you have the actual picture of the toy top says 7290R, and then there's the bottom of the box as well. So that's kind of uh, your overview on the box. So it does come in a cl closed all around box here. Um, so I guess, yeah, let's get into looking at these tractors. We'll probably take a look at the normal, uh, normal green and yellow version first. So this is the 7290R 2015 Farm Show Toy Tractor. This is pretty much your standard 7R. I mean, it's not different than the 7270R that Ertl is still making. Um, pretty much the same tooling and everything, just a uh, different number slapped on the side and as a farm show toy. But, so you do have your hood there and everything. Um, John Deere Stripe 7290R sticker right there. You got the air vents, you got the engine covers. Um... You got your front grill with the painted on lights there, uh, along with the John Deere logo on the front. You do have your die cast weight that isn't exactly straight across, but it's better than some of the 8R ones that we've seen. You do have nice fenders on top of your wheels that, um, your mechanical front wheel drive wheels on the front of here. You do have the ladder to get up into the tractor. You got the pre-cleaner over here. You have um, the cab up here into the cab. You do have the painted um, door handle. Moving to the roof, you got the painted on silver lights along with the flashers in them, along with the painted yellow green star receiver. Um, also shows the imprint of 2015 Farm Show 105,000 on there. On the fenders, you do have your painted black around there along with your red tail lights. Now, if we look at the back of this tractor, this tractor does look very wide. Um, this is not set on 30 inch spacing. Um, I'm not sure what they were quite going with on this tractor, but pretty much if you take the duels off of this, it'd be set up for just a normal haying tractor, but then they slap duels on it. So it's not 30 inch spacing. I'm not quite sure what they were doing there, but they've pretty much done that on all their seven hours and eight hours of this time frame. 
So a little bit weird, don't quite get it there, but you do have your exhaust pipe over on this side. You do have your little steps there. Now you do have three windshield wipers. You got one on the front, one on the side, and one on the rear. So you get all three of those and that will be that'll be a key key uh thing to look at once we get over to the dusty version. Um you do have your regular SMB sign on the back of this and you have your regular drawbar. Not very much detail back there, but it is what it is. Um since since this came out, Ertl has really stepped up their farm show quality. So it's a little bit a little bit higher quality than what this was at the time. But it's still a nice tractor. Um kinda kinda pretty much just like the 7270R, but it is a different model, so you get that as well. Now production quantities as of um these three different models, this one was 50% of the run-in. So 50% of these 5,000, so 2,500 were these regular green. Now, if we move over here to the dusty version, pretty much the same, just got a dusty dusty glaze over it. 40% um, of the production run was dusty, which leaves 10% of the production run as gold. So this is pretty much everything I showed you on the other, on the main tractor. Just everything's dusty, which it looks really cool. I know I did a review on another dusty tractor that I had from the year before. I am kind of sad that they only did the dusty for two years. They only did it in 2014 and 2015. Wish they could have done a little bit more because it is a really cool, good looking tractor. And I really enjoy it. Now, as I was talking about with the windshield wipers earlier, you can kind of see there, there is no dirt where the windshield wiper goes. And that is that way on all the windows. See this window? Completely clear there where that would normally be. As well as on the back. So, you do even get that detail that... um. The farmer ran the windshield wipers and cleared off a little part on the windows, which makes makes it look very, very good. It makes it look realistic. It makes it look just, it's a unique, um, unique piece here. And it, it's really cool. I really loved the dusty ones. Um, I have a 2014 and a 2015 one of both so both the two years that they made them so it's a very nice tractor i'm not going to go through all the specifics and show you everything again because like i said it is the same tractor pretty much as that one just this one is completely glazed in uh dust all over top to bottom inside and out it looks real nice so i guess that leaves us with the gold tractor this is the shiny gold. This isn't the matte like gold and silver that they're doing now. I don't personally like that new matte gold and silver. I like the shininess. I like the shininess of these older ones. Once they got to 2018, they went to a matte. A matte chase unit color. It was a matte silver or a matte gold. And I do not really like it. I like the shiny of these older ones a lot better. It reflects the light. You can see your finger in it. It is just really cool. So it does say 2015 Farm Show 105,000 on the top. Now the only real other color here, um, you do have the orange flashers of course and the, uh, the red tail lights as well as the um, colored SMB sign but other than that you got the yellow painted GPS receiver but other than that everything is either gold or black now of course you got your tires and your exhaust pipe and your air cleaner and stuff all the stuff that's normally black is, is black um, but everything else everything else that's normally green or even the 
rims on here are the gold color. Now for the stripe, the stripe is kind of like just a gray color, which I really, I really liked that. So you got the John Deere stripe there and 7290R um, in the gray font, and you got the deer in the front in the gray font as well. So I really think that that gray font makes this look really nice. Um, I really like this tractor. It looks good. Um, I definitely really like the shiny, shiny gold color better than, um, than what they're doing now. So, I mean, there are a couple imperfections in it. They're not going to get it perfect. Um, like if you look here, there's a couple little bubbles and stuff, but it's not going to be perfect, but it is still a really nice looking tractor and you can't quite tell you can't tell those imperfections as much if you're looking at it from a couple feet away. So it's a very nice, very nice, only 10% of the whole production run of 5,000 were gold. So I'm very happy to get my hands on this one. Uh, it is very cool. And surprised that I got all three versions, all three versions, just the random, random three ordered three of them at the show and opened them up later and that's what i got so it's really cool to be able to get all three of these versions i the the regular green one is okay it's uh pretty much the same as any of your other seven r's the dusty version is really cool because it's dusty and the windshield wipers look really cool where they would go across and of course, I like the gold because it is really rare. Um, like I said, $135 if you're wanting to buy one on Dalton's Farm Toys. But So it's very rare. Um, and I was, I was really happy to get my hands on it. But otherwise, I don't really uh, know what else to say here about these tractors. They're really nice. Um, I would definitely decide to if you want to go pick one of these up depending on if you what what one you want what one out of the three um interesting thing is the dusty one is actually running eight dollars less on dalton's farm toys right now than the normal green one so if you really want a dusty one go ahead and pick yourself one up they're cheaper than the regular regular version right now so um definitely recommend any of these uh, any of these three models here, they're all very nice, um, they all look very good, um, and they're all unique in their own ways, um, so yeah, I, I would definitely recommend these for you, they're a great piece, especially if you get one of the dusty ones, or the gold ones, because the dusty ones, only one of two years produced of the dusty series, um, and so, the gold, always just a, always a cool time when you get either a gold or a silver tractor. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. Consider subscribing as well. And also, if you have any comments, questions, or if you have any ideas on what we should review next on the channel, leave those down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed today's video, everyone. And I'll see y'all in the next one.